What up squad, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, my name is Bricks. I live in a van. I lost 160 pounds. And now I make videos teaching you how to be well as hell. Because I went from fat and broke to now literally living my dream life. And you could do it too. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Today's video was inspired by a question from Trivion Hun. Please show us exercises that help you lose belly fat. So I'm gonna talk about the whole belly fat thing today. But before we get into that, please hit the thumbs up button right now. I'm trying to get this video to at least 2,500 likes. Also, consistency over intensity hoodies are still available. We have a few 2Xs and a few 1Xs left. Click the link in the description to find out if we have your size left. So yes, this whole belly fat thing, man, I get asked this question a lot. And I wanna start this video by saying, you cannot target any specific area of your body. You cannot lose fat in your arms, in your belly, in your neck. It doesn't happen that way, right? But I am going to give you some tips on how you can reduce your body fat percentage in this video. Some very helpful tips and this ish works. You just have to apply it. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you wanna do, right? And this is the simplest step before you start counting calories, before you start tracking macros, before you start worrying about the gym, just cut back on processed foods. Most of our diets, mine included, back in the day, is full of processed foods. So if you just start off by saying, listen, I wanna reduce processed foods, processed foods meaning if it comes in a bag and it can, if it's not from the earth, if it's not from an animal, if it's not from a tree, if it's not from a bush, then most likely it is processed. If it has several ingredients, especially ingredients that you cannot pronounce, most likely it is a processed food right? If you can make your diet 70 to 80% whole foods, again, that alone, that one thing alone will help you drop body fat and it's going to make you feel amazing. Before we get into the next tip, in the description, there's a link to a free fat loss guide. It outlines pretty much everything I'm saying in this video and more. I included all the tips, all the strategies that I've used to get super lean is all in this PDF document. It's well organized. So just click that link in the description enter your information and make sure you check your spam folder and we're gonna send you that PDF document totally for free. All right, so take advantage of that. So the next thing, and this is probably the most important thing when it comes to losing body fat, belly fat, neck fat, arm fat, is to make sure that you're in a caloric deficit. So in the description, you'll find a link to a video that teaches you how to calculate your calorie requirement. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're eating processed foods, if you're eating whole foods, if you're eating at night, if you're eating in the daytime, it doesn't matter. If you wanna reduce your body fat, you have to be in a caloric deficit. So calculate your calorie requirements and make sure that you learn how to accurately track your calories if you want to lose body fat. All right, the next tip, add a 20 minute walk to your day. That's it, sounds simple, right? Add movement on top of your regular workout. Maybe after dinner, just go for a 10 to 20 minute walk. That little bit of extra calorie burning is going to add to your calorie deficit, which is going to help you reduce your body fat percentage. All right, another tip when I'm trying to lose body fat is I add a hit finisher at the end of my training session. So this usually is maybe some sprints, a few burpees. That can be sprints on the treadmill. It can be sprints in your front yard. It can be 100 burpees, 10 sets of 10. It can be the air assault bike. It can be whatever you wanna do. And I'm talking about three to seven minutes of intense exercise that jacks your heart rate way up. Listen, this three to seven minutes of additional exercise at the end of your training session will significantly increase your body's ability to burn fat. All right, the last tip to reduce your body fat percentage. You have to make sure, listen, this one is so important. And no one talks about this as much as we really should, but you gotta make sure that you're getting enough sleep. This is where the magic happens. You can bust your ass in the gym, you could be in a caloric deficit, but if your body doesn't have time to recover and to do whatever magical thing it does in order to lose body fat, you're defeating the purpose. So make sure you're getting rest. Make sure you're giving your body adequate time to recover. This part of the equation is as important as the exercise and the diet. All right. So make sure that you're getting enough sleep. All right, Brick Squad. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have a question that you want me to make a video about, I want you to put it in the comment section below. And remember, guys, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So evolve.
Peace.